Then you can neglect your responsibilities. I phoned the car company. I told them that I couldn't pay. They said they'd send me a form, I had to sign it and send it back. And did you? I don't remember. Well, it's probably at the bottom of all your other unopened correspondence. So where's the vehicle now, Sarah? I don't know. It was parked near the house. I've not seen it for ages. Most of the car's probably been stolen. And you didn't think to report it. Does anyone else have access to the vehicle? Your, your husband, perhaps? No. Okay, let's concentrate on what took place today, then. Can you tell us what happened when Carl Preston came round? He asked me where the car was. I told him I didn't know. He called me a liar. He started shouting, saying I was stupid. And then he grabbed my arm and I told him to get off, but he wouldn't. So I swung my shopping bag and it hit him in the face. I didn't mean to hurt him. How's day two going, being paired with design? I'm better. Well, he's done his disappearing acts again, so we're getting on just fine at the moment. But I'm sure he'll swan in at some point and give me helpful hints on how to do my job. Probably. But if you need a hand, you just give me a shout, all right? Thanks. Oh, um, she's a little distracted at the moment. It might take a while to get through it all. OK. Sarah, the CPS are going to be in touch when they've decided whether or not to charge you, but part of the conditions of bail are that you return to this station two weeks today. You understand? Sarah, it's very important. I understand. Would you like me to put you in touch with a counsellor, or maybe somebody can help you manage your debt? No, oh, I can sort myself up. Thanks, though, you've been really kind. Oh, Roger, would you mind showing Sarah out, please? No. This way, Sarah. How is she? Seems like you were right. She's under a lot of pressure. She's going through a bad marriage breakup. Is Roger all right today, Sarge? How do you mean? I don't know. He just seemed very snappy during the interview. Not what I'd call very compassionate. But maybe he's just a bit old school. Leave it with me. I'll uh, have a word with him. Thanks. I thought we were supposed to be working together. Yeah, I've just got an important report to file, and then I'm all yours. Well, don't rush my account. Mm -hmm. Kezia, you haven't seen the DI, have you? He was about to piece some video evidence. It's something to do with a serious assault. Uh, I hope that's work-related and you're not abusing police resources, <laughs> madam. <laughs> this is all part of my stress management. Look, look, look at this. Enjoy the peace and tranquility of the Lake District from the luxury of this five-star country hotel. Hanley Hall Hotel. Oak-panelled rooms, each one with its own jacuzzi. Mm. I mean, you're pushing the boat out, aren't you? Well, I've got two weeks' leave. It's for me and Rod. I thought I'd surprise him by booking a holiday. Only question is, do I book one room or two? Well, that sounds promising. Well, he's just... Oh, he's just been brilliant about waiting for me to tell him when's the right time. Roger! Sorry. Um, got time for a quick cup of coffee? Well, I promised I'd give Cathy a lift home from the hospital. You don't sound too thrilled about that? Well, it's not that. I just feel we should have been able to protect her. Since she witnessed that arson attack, she's had her life exposed to the papers and been assaulted twice. I can hardly blame her for refusing to testify. I, I wanted a word. Yeah? Apparently you were a bit 
before long in the Sarah Grange interview. Trainee DC Walker. You're going to take the advice of an inexperienced officer. You know, Sarge, I can't seem to sneeze in this place without some do-gooder jumping to hysterical conclusions. Zane. What can you tell me about Louis Drake? Uh, he's a low-life criminal who's been hanging around Crescent Shore. Louis Drake was assaulted yesterday by someone matching your description. Italian-looking early 30s, dark hair, smart black suit. Right. He says that he saw his attacker in Bar, Morocco. I've just seen the security footage. You were there? Yeah, I was at the club, but so were a lot of people. Most of them were wearing suits, you know, it's that kind of place. I was following a lead gov, it's all in my report. What report? I, f I filed it yesterday. I mean, I know you were busy, so I just popped it in your intro. There you go. We never mentioned this yesterday when we were talking about the other jobs you were working on. Uh, didn't I? Uh, sorry, Gov, I, th I thought I did. So what happened when Louis Drake came into Bar Morocco? Louis's been trying to muscle in on Kristen's business. It was pretty tanked up. Kristen said no. Louis just mouthing off, that's all. Do you think that Kristen could be behind the attack? No, it's not her style. Louis's a minor irritation, that's all. Well, this is one of the problems with covert operations. No one's there to watch your back. Maybe if you'd stayed with DC Walker like you were supposed to. Point taken, Gov. I'm gonna get Inspector Gold to do a video ID with Louis Drake. We'll use the security footage. Is all this really necessary? Louis's got form for dealing, and he's got a reputation as a rip-off merchant. Anyone could have been behind his attack. He's just trying to connect it to Kristen because she won't do business with him. Are you sure you're not getting in too deep with this one? Yeah, it's fine, Gav. It's all under control. Well, hopefully the video ID will clear up this mess and we can both get back to dealing with the other cases that are stacking up. Rod, you want to speak to me? I just wanted to check that June was still taking her two weeks leave. Yeah, she's been really looking forward to it. Is there a problem? I've booked a surprise holiday. Two weeks in the Seychelles. Great. You don't think she'll appreciate the gesture? No, no, listen. She's going to be over the moon, mate. June! What are you doing here? Oh, I just popped in to see if you'd be up for a drink tonight. Yeah, great. Mm. I'll see you later. Yeah, later. Sarge! Oh, sorry, I need to ask a favour. Could I knock off a bit early tonight? Only I've got Dad moving in with me tomorrow. I've got a meeting with his carer and I've got to clean the place from top to bottom. No problem. I've got to get the place looking ship-shape. That's a favourite term. I'm not having a drill sergeant living with me. I'm going to have to have full kit inspection. Sure, it'll be fine. Well, it's going to be hard, but I'm really looking forward to moving in. Carl Preston, I'm DC Walker. You said you had some news. I wanted to let you know that Sarah Grange has been charged with assault. Good. What about my car? It appears the vehicle has been registered to a new owner. We're trying to trace him now. What, you mean she sold it? We don't know what's happened yet. She's having a hard time of it and isn't really on top of things. Oh, my heart bleeds for her. Now, I either get my vehicle back or I'll send in the bailiffs. Those boys love a good sub story. I was about to call a taxi. Thought you'd forgotten. Oh, the traffic was murder. I was thinking of having a cigarette, but there's something about smoking next to a stroke patient could put you off for life. That was a joke. Well, that's all. Seven out of ten for effort. We just need to work on your time.